Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to show you the easiest way to install PyTorch in Anaconda Python. And I want to show you how you could do that on both CPU and GPU. Let's get started and see how we could do that. As I said in this video, I want to talk about the easiest way to install PyTorch in Anaconda Python on both CPU and GPU. PyTorch is a machine learning library based on the Torch library used for applications such as computer vision and natural language processing, originally developed by Meadow AI and now part of the Linux Foundation umbrella. It is recognized as one of the two most popular machine learning libraries alongside TensorFlow, offering free and open source software released under the modified BSD license. Although the Python interface is more polished and the primary focus of the development, PyTorch also has a C++ interface. TensorFlow and PyTorch are both powerful deep learning frameworks used for developing and deploying machine learning models. TensorFlow offers a static computational graph approach focusing on scalability and production readiness, while PyTorch features a dynamic computational graph emphasizing flexibility and the ease of use for research and experimentation. TensorFlow's extensive ecosystem and deployment tools make it popular for large-scale production deployment. Whereas PyTorch's intuitive interface and Pythonic syntax are favored by researchers and practitioners for rapid prototyping and experimentation. Ultimately, the choice between TensorFlow and PyTorch often depends on the specific requirements of the project and the preferences of the user. In this video, I want to show you the easiest way to install PyTorch in Anaconda Python on both CPU and GPU. Let's go to Python and see how we can do that. Before we go to Python, I assume you have already installed Anaconda Python. If you haven't and you need help, just go to one of my prior videos as you can see here. Okay, I have the Anaconda Python open and ready here. The first thing you want to do is to go to these environments here. Now when you go there, just create a new environment. I'm going to put the name PT, which stands for PyTorch. Now with the Python version, just choose the latest version that Python itself is suggesting to you. Don't go with this one, just the latest that the Python is suggesting to you. So I'm going to go with the latest that Python is suggesting, which is 3.11.8. Now I'm going to create. Okay, the environment has been created. So just choose the environment here, make sure you are in that environment, and then go back to home. Now when you go back to home, just go and install Spider. In case you want to use Spider, because I love Spider and I do everything in there, so I first have to install Spider. If you're like me, you first have to install Spider as well. Okay, the Spider is being installed, it's almost done. You can see here. Okay, the Spider has been successfully installed. Now go back to environment. And again, make sure you choose the new environment, which is PT. And now go up here and choose not installed. And then go to the search packages here, right up here, and write PyTorch. And you could see that there are so many options comes up, but you choose this one, PyTorch. And note that it says PyTorch is an optimized tensor library for deep learning using GPUs and CPUs. So just choose this one. And then hit apply right down here. And then it says these packages are going to be installed. You just hit the apply again and then you just wait for it to be installed. Okay, the installation is complete. Now let's go back home and check the installation. You have to first refresh it. I, I go back to the base environment and then I come back to the new environment that I made. Or you could just X out of Python and then come back to it. You just have to refresh it, but I refreshed it like this. And then choose the spider. Okay, now I want to check if the PyTorch has been installed correctly. All I have to do is just write import torch. And then you hit the enter. Okay, no error came up. That means you have installed PyTorch correctly. But you have to note that this PyTorch uses CPU. And what if I want to use GPU? First, I want to check if this PyTorch is connected to GPU. All I have to do is just write this comment. If Torch CUDA is available, print CUDA is available and PyTorch can use GPU for computations. Otherwise, print CUDA is not available and PyTorch will use CPU for computation. Let's check and see what PyTorch is using. So it says CUDA is not available and PyTorch will use CPU for computation. 
But what if I want to connect the PyTorch to my GPU? You have to go through a few stages which are very simple. The first thing you need to do is to go to this website. You go to this website to download the latest version of CUDA because I have installed the latest version of Python so I can install the latest version of CUDA as well. So let's go to this website first and download the CUDA. Okay, here's the website. And you just go here and hit download now. It's going to ask you some basic questions. I'm using Windows. My Windows is 64-bit. And then I'm using Windows 11. And for me, it's going to be local, not network, because I'm going to just install it on my own laptop. So you just go down here and download. As you can see, it's been downloaded right here. Okay, the download is complete. We just go here and we go to the folder and we choose this. Just double click on this and just wait for it. And then just go with whatever directory it is suggesting. Hit the OK and wait for it to be installed. You're actually waiting for the installer to be extracted to your computer. And then after that, the real installation is going to start. And now the CUDA is going to open up and then it's going to start the installation. Okay, now you come here. It says NVIDIA Software License Agreement. You just agree and continue. Then we go with the recommended installation. Next. And now again, you have to wait. Now you're in this stage which says installation is in progress. So you just have to again wait for it to be done. As you can see, the installation is in progress still, and you have to still wait. Okay, now the installation is almost complete, and then you're going to go to this stage. You're just going to hit the Next, and then NVIDIA installer has finished, and then you just have to close it down. You don't need to go here. Just hit the Exit. Now, to connect your PyTorch to GPU, there is one more thing that you have to do. First, you have to open up your Anaconda prompt or Anaconda PowerShell prompt. I'm going to open up Anaconda PowerShell prompt. And now, as you can see, you are in the base environment, but I have to change it to the PT environment or PyTorch environment, the one that I just made. All I have to do is to just write Conda activate PT. Now I'm in my new environment. Now all you have to do is you just write this code. Conda install PyTorch Torch Vision Torch Audio PyTorch dash CUDA equals to 12.1 dash C PyTorch dash C NVIDIA. So this code here originally comes from the PyTorch website, which is here. So I just went here and I chose my machine, which is Windows, and then I use Conda, and then Python, and then CUDA 12.1. The latest version of CUDA here is 12.1. But you have to note that the latest version of CUDA on NVIDIA website is 12.4. But it's okay because we are using the latest version of Python. You could just use the latest version of CUDA available on PyTorch website. And then just copy this code and just paste it here. And hit the enter. Again, be careful to write it in your new environment. Hit the enter. Now just wait for it. It's going to take a little while, but not much. Now it's asking me a question. It says, proceed, yes or no. And I'm going to say yes. It's almost done now. Okay, it's all done. Let's go and check, see if our PyTorch is connected to the GPU. we got to open up Python, but I have to X out of it to refresh it. I'm going to go back to the environment. So I'm going to change the environment first to the base or whatever else. And then I'm going to come back to the PyTorch environment. And now I'm going to open up Spider. Okay, the Spider is open. Now all I have to do to check if my PyTorch is connected to the GPU is to just write this code. First I have to import Torch. And then I could use this command to see if my PyTorch is using GPU or not. I've already talked about this, so just use the same comments as before. Now hit the enter. 
Now it says CUDA is available and PyTorch can use GPU for computations. And that's it. It was very easy. You first have to install PyTorch in your environment and then you connect it to your GPU on your laptop or whatever machine you're using. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.